Hi everybody. We've been missing you so much at church, but we wanted to put together a video that would hopefully be a great blessing to you. You're going to get to see a few of your teachers and helpers and also get to sing some songs, do some motions, and hear a great Bible story from Miss Debbie. And um, there's even some extra fun stuff in there as well. We miss you and really hope that you are doing well, praying for you. and. Uh, I just want to encourage you to read your Bible, pray, really enjoy this time with your families because we never know what things are going to happen and God does and we want to do our best to be in the center of His will. Bless you. Have a great day. Hi everyone. We love you and miss you so much. We cannot wait to get to be here at church with you again. I uh, wish we could do this music with you all here with us, but uh, it is so much fun to be able to do it online still. Love you. Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to say, like Joe said, we miss you um, and have a great time doing the music, get all your wiggles out um, and enjoy. Hey guys, can't wait to get back in Sunday school again and see you guys soon. So looking forward to that. Hi guys. Hi. This is Pastor Ryan, Miss Megan. We miss you guys and we're really looking forward to when we can be back together as um, the body of Christ and we miss you and hope you're doing well in school and finding fun things to do outside and enjoy the beautiful creation God has given us in Borrego. Keep reading your Bibles guys. Keep learning about the Lord and we can't wait to see you again. Hi boys and girls. I hope you're doing fine. I miss your smiling faces. I wish we could be together, but we can't right now. But I know who's together with you all the time, 24-7, and that's God. And that gives me peace, and I pray it gives you peace too. Enjoy your family time, and I'll be with you as soon as we can. Love you.
kids, it's Miss Betty. Hey, I'm really missing you all. I hope that you're all doing really great during all this stay at home stuff. We really are missing seeing you and hanging out with everybody. But just remember, like in Philippians 4, 6, it tells us that we can do all things through Christ because he's giving us the strength to do it. Remember, it's through him that we're able to endure whatever we have to go through. We love you so much and hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi, this is Diana and Brianna. We just wanted to say that we miss you. We hope you all are doing well. And uh, just a reminder to keep reading your Bibles and we hope to get to see you soon. Hello guys, I'm missing your little faces in Sunday school. I hope you guys are all doing well and make sure you guys wash your hands. <laughs>
and she's kind to everyone. And now she is the queen. Esther had a cousin named Mordecai who was like a dad to her. And Mordecai was very wise. He wanted to protect Esther, just like a dad would. Oh, here he comes now. Here's Mordecai. And it looks like he's telling Esther something. He just told Esther to keep a secret. And the secret was that they were Jewish. The king was not Jewish, so Esther listened to what Mordecai said, and she obeyed him. But one day, a wicked man named Haman told everyone to bow down to him. He thought he was better than everyone else, and he wanted to have all the people look up to him and admire him. He was very prideful. Here comes Haman now. He really isn't a nice man at all. Look how he's telling Mordecai to bow down. He sure looks mean. But Mordecai refused to bow down to Haman because he was Jewish and he would only bow down to God. So Haman became very angry. In fact, he was so angry, he came up with a plan to get rid of Mordecai and all of his friends that were Jewish. And you know what? That included Esther. Well, Mordecai found out about the plan and let Esther know. He told her to go see the king and ask him to stop the plan. But Esther was afraid. She told Mordecai that if anyone went to see the king without an invitation, he would get very mad. Yet Esther knew that this was very important. So she asked Mordecai and all of her friends and all of the Jewish people to pray for her. So for three days they prayed and they didn't even have anything to eat or drink. Well, God gave Esther courage and she very bravely went in to see the king. He put forth his scepter, which meant that he wasn't mad, and he asked her, what do you want? Esther made a beautiful feast for the king and told him all about that evil Haman and what he was planning to do. Then he got rid of Haman right away and then he put Esther's cousin, Mordecai, in charge. Because of Esther's decision to help her people, they were all saved. God answered their prayers. Do you remember who helped Esther to be brave and courageous? If you said, God, you're right. God helped Esther to be a brave superhero. And that's our story. I hope you enjoyed this story. You know, there are lots of heroes in the Bible who were used by God to do some great and amazing things. Do you know that you can be a superhero too? <clears throat> Standing up for what is right and true makes you a hero to God. But do you know who the greatest hero in the Bible is? It's Jesus. If you said Jesus, you're right. He loves you so much, and even though you can't see him, he knows everything about you and you are very precious to him. If you believe in Jesus and accept him into your heart, he promises that you will live forever with him someday in heaven. And your name is written in the book of life that's in heaven. When a person accepts Jesus, there's a big celebration in heaven. The angels rejoice and they're all so happy. So, I hope that you have enjoyed the story. I've loved sharing it with you. And you know what? I'll be praying for you. I really miss you. And remember how you couldn't leave the classroom without a hug? Well, how about if you just hug yourself right now and pretend it's from me? Would you do that? Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Hey, kids, this is Pastor Steve. I want to let you know that we miss seeing you and look forward to being together again, hopefully in the not too distant future. God bless you.